Uh, Brian, good evening. First, I want to get your thoughts on the play of Ryan Fitzpatrick and also the uh, performance by your defense. I thought Fitz played well. Um, we moved the ball efficiently on the first half. Could have been better in the second half. Um, but, you know, I thought, you know, I thought he made good decisions. I thought he ran it when he needed to run it. Um, and I just thought he had good, you know, good command of the offense tonight. Uh, but uh, it wasn't just Fitz. Look, there's 11 guys on each snap, so the O-line played well. We got contributions from – you know, a lot of different guys, offensive line, the backs, uh, tight ends, receivers, everyone contributed. That's what you need to win in this league. Soften. Coach, obviously, you know, the, the first one of the season is, is always big. You know, how did you see, uh, you know, your team kind of build off of that early lead with the three touchdowns on the first three drives and kind of take that kind of going forward in the game? Uh, well, we got off to a good start, something we, we, we've been, you know, talking about. Um, you know, I think our staff did a good job uh, offensively, defensively in the kicking game on a short week, uh, getting the guys ready to go. Uh, so, you know, Chan, Josh, Danny, you know, a lot of credit goes to them uh, for, the, for, the, for the work they did this week. Um, but, you know, also the, you know, the credit goes to the players. I mean, they put the work in and, then, uh, you know, they, they, they did a good job with the communication, the fundamentals, the techniques, and uh, they made plays out there tonight. And, but it was a total team effort, offense, defense, and special teams. Josh? Flo, how satisfied were you with the uh, pass rush tonight and uh, 10 total quarterback hits on, on Minshew? That's, that's got to be uh, an encouraging sign, right? Yeah, it's something obviously we, we've been working on. You know, anytime you get pressure, we, every team wants to get pressure on the quarterback. Um, we were able to do that, um, you know, tonight. And, um, you know, there's some instances where it could have been better, but definitely improved from the previous weeks. Um, but they've got a good old line. They've got a good quarterback. they got good skilled guys. So that was um, it was a tough test for us. But, you know, our guys, uh, they came ready to play tonight. They played fast. They played physical. There's a lot of energy on the field. I'm sure you guys could see that. Um, they were they were fired up. And uh, you know, they worked for, or, you know, it was a short week. And we put a, uh, a, a lot of time in as a team. And, you know, they did a lot of extra work this week. Was important for them, and, and they saw the fruits of their labor. Omar, Flo, how important is this for this win to reinforce what you've been building and what you've been teaching and incorporating? You know, it's always important to uh, you know when you work hard for something and you you, uh, you see the fruits of that labor, like I just mentioned, it's 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 a good thing. Um, hopefully, it builds confidence, but. We've got to we got to continue to work uh, the way we've been working, um, and continue to grow uh, as a team, um, as a staff. And you know, it feels good to win. You know, that's 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 uh, it. Definitely feels good to win. And I'm proud. I'm proud of these guys. I'm happy for them. Um, I'm happy for our staff. I mean, they work. These guys work tirelessly, and uh, I'm excited for them. And um, but yeah. As far as you know, what we're trying to build, we're trying to win games every week, and uh, they, they, they work. They work hard for that. Coach, how important was Jay Hill uh, fourth down sack? What happened on that play? Um, well, Josh made a really good call on that. He blitzed him, uh, and you know, Kamu came free. He's fourth down. It was a good play, kind of. They had a little bit, could have had a little bit of uh, momentum there at the half. Kind of, we stopped him a little bit. It was a great play by Kamu. I thought he played well defensively. Um, again, we called his number, you know, really right there. And in the second half, and he stepped up, made tackles, and played fast. So, um, but he, along with a lot of other guys defensively, um, you know, whether it's Van Ginkle to uh, Sealer, uh, you know, obviously X had the big play at the end. Bobby, but it's a total team effort. We I mean, need to just continue to uh, to build, to 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 work as a as a team, as a unit. I mean, contributions from self, from different guys. I, mean, I think when it's we're not a one man show here, um, and no team is. We need contributions from everyone, and uh, if we continue to do that, hopefully we can, we can uh, continue to improve and get better. Adam. Do you feel like that the uh, lack of preseason may have affected you guys a bit more? I know it's not an excuse, but you're starting to uh, – certainly the offense 
second half on from last week has looked much better. The defense picked it up today. Just simply being around each other more than you, you have been, did that help you? I mean, look, anytime you can uh, go through experiences as a group, it, it helps. But again, we're not going to make any excuses or point fingers about, you know, what, what preseason we did or didn't have. Um, we're just going to try to, you know, move on day to day and get better. They, these guys, um, they, they know what it takes to, to, to improve and get better and try to win in this league. It's not easy. You know, it's about coming in on a daily basis and, you know, working on whatever it is, whether it's a fundamental, as simple as throwing and catching to a complex scheme defensively, offensively, or in a kicking game. Uh, our guys, you know, they, they work for that. And uh, when you do that, you, get, you put yourself in position to try to have some success. And that's, I think that's what our guys have done. Stop it. Hey, Coach, uh, Kava and I had, you know, the fumble strip and the recovery there and, and it turned into a touchdown there. You know, what can you say about his performance bouncing back after last week and also, you know, the complimentary play there for you guys? Uh, I mean, complimentary football is always, that's how you win in this league. So you can have a good, you know, uh, back him up or win the field position battle and win the time of possession battle by getting first downs offensively and turn the ball over defensively. And that's how you. That's how you win in this league. And that was a, that was a good play by Com, uh, by uh, by Kyle. And um, but it wasn't just Kyle. I mean, it was. It's never just one person on a play. You know, I'm not sure who who else was. I haven't watched it yet, but you know, I'm sure someone else had a a really good rush. They might have pulled somebody else off of Kyle, and you know, Kyle popped in there. But it was a good individual play. And we need what we need is on every snap, eleven. You know, really good individual uh, plays and. Little guys trying to win their matchup. And, you know, when we get that consecutively, uh, we get good results. But normally you get good results. Sometimes you don't. When you don't, you just move on to the next play. You know, and believe that getting 11 guys on the same page in the right direction, uh, good communication, good fundamentals, good technique. If you, I think the guys believe that if we do that, we'll have good plays. Um, so it's important for each of them to – to, to, to try to do that, not only for themselves, but for the guy next to them. Well, we have time for one more. We'll to go to Hal. Brian, I wanted to ask you a little bit more about your offensive line. Obviously, two rookies are out there starting, but it looked, especially in the first half, like you guys were controlling the line of scrimmage. What were you seeing out of your line tonight? Um, you know, these the, the, the entire line, I know we uh, a lot of focus is on the rookies, but – Ted Karras, E. Flowers, you know, Jesse, you know, those guys, I think all of them are, are you know, these guys are competitive. They're, they're tough. They're smart. It's important to them. Um, I think there's a lot of leadership in that room. And the, uh, the young guys just follow, follow their lead. And um, I think, I think they understand that, you know, that's a, that's a unit, you know, all basically um, not individuals, but one unit. And they try to play that way. Um, and we, you know, I think they, they, uh, we had some success early in the game. Wish we would have ran it better in this, you know, really second quarter on. Um, you know, that's something we'll talk about and try to uh, get improved uh, this week or you know, tomorrow and this week. Um, but you know, I like what I saw out of that group. I haven't watched the tape yet, so I'm sure there's be something that we can coach and correct. Um, it's I, by by no means was it a perfect game. I saw a couple penalties, which we'll get. We'll, we'll try to get those corrected. So. Um, but, you know, hopefully we're moving in the right direction.